directly connect customers, uh, to, uh, directly co connect companies in the United States with new customers overseas. And that's, you know, this is a perfect example. Today is what the Export Assistance Center of Philadelphia did with AGI in terms of helping connect them to new customers in Korea and Singapore and Brazil. Another area that's part of the National Export Initiative um, is something that we talked a little bit about just before um, um, the rest of you joined us, which is looking at our export control regime and making sure that um, our export controls um, don't inhibit um, our exports, but provide sort of a smooth, a smooth and streamlined process um, that are able to help facilitate U.S. exports, particularly of technologies such as those produced by AGI. Another aspect of the National Export Initiative is what we do at the U.S. Trade Representative, which is we work to tear down market access barriers. We work to reduce tariffs in other countries. We work to reduce non-tariff barriers. We work to reduce barriers that services <coughs> companies like, like an AGI would face um, in other countries around the world with, again, the goal of facilitating the sale of U.S. goods, services, um, and agricultural products in, in other markets so that we can take advantage of the competitive <coughs> opportunities that, that exist out there and in a way that makes our own companies as competitive as they can be in foreign markets. Companies around, countries around the world are concluding trade agreements and are getting into uh, markets that are critical to our own future as, as a country, to our own competitive future. And we need to be in there aggressively tearing down market access barriers and being the first in so that US companies are the first in in terms of being able to compete and win in, in foreign markets. So that's what we do a lot at the US Trade Representative is to negotiate trade agreements um, to help reduce trade barriers. And then once those agreements are enforced, uh, are, are negotiated, to make sure that our trading partners are playing by the rules of the road and are actually um, um, living up to the terms of the trade agreement that was negotiated. Because if we negotiate a trade agreement and it's not enforced, it's not enforced the paper that it's written on. So we need to be sure that every trade agreement we negotiate, um, we vigorously enforce it. And that's um, you know, one of the things that the President mentioned in, in, in uh, his remarks at the Export-Import Bank uh, last week. Um, so there's a lot that's going on. And as the President said, you know, it's time for the United States to go to bat for our businesses and for our workers, especially when other countries are, are vigorously um, promoting their own companies' interests abroad. And so that's sort of the, the goal and the purpose of the National Export Initiative. It's, again, to double exports in the next five years. It's to create and support an additional two million jobs. And it's to work in a comprehensive way throughout the entire government, marshalling all of the resources that my agency, the US Trade Representative, and other agencies like the Department of Commerce, the Export-Import Bank, the Small Business Administration have so that we are, in a targeted way, helping to significantly boost um, exports and, and um, therefore create jobs in the United States. So let me stop there. Um, that's basically what the, the, the National Export Initiative is all about. And let's move to the more fun part of the program, which is when um, some cool company gets a pretty cool Export Achievement Certificate Award. Um, and I would like to, uh, it, it's, it's a real honor for me to, uh, to be here today. You know, the story of AGI is great. Um, I love the fact that, you know, you launched this in your living room um, in, in 1989. And, you know, since that time, AGI has really put in, into place practices that have been a model for, uh, for companies around the area, around the state. Um, and what's so impressive uh, to, to me and to us is really how the strong effort that you've put into growing your exports and, and the remarkable growth that we've seen in, in exports, in AGI's exports in the past five years. You know, you're in, I guess, 12 markets from Singapore to Brazil to Korea to India um, to Canada to the UK, like you mentioned. And you're the, you are all seriously the poster child for how to get things right. And so it is a, uh, an honor and a pleasure on behalf of the United States government, on behalf of President Obama, to present the Export Achievement Certificate Award to AGI. Congratulations. Thank you.